Hey, it's Rick Khan, and in this video, I'm going to go through Facebook ads optimization and delivery, which is right for you. Because did you know, choosing the right delivery in your Facebook ads is important to get right if you want the best results. And that's why I'm gonna go through different campaigns objectives such as your sales, leads, traffic, and engagement to help you discover which optimization is right for you depending on the different scenarios. Because did you know, when you get this right, Facebook can deliver your ads in the correct way and that will give you the best ROI for your ad spend. So with that said, let's go through different optimizations depending on your outcome. But the ones I use a lot, which is the leads and sales objectives. And with both the leads and sales, I use the exact same optimization. So whatever I put for sales will be the same for leads. So for this example, I'll jump to sales and I'm gonna jump straight to the ad set. And if you scroll down the ad set, you'll see optimization and delivery. And the one you want to focus on is just the optimization for ad delivery, because this is where you'll choose the event you want Facebook to optimize its outcomes. Now, if you click the drop down menu, the first one, which is preset on is conversions. This is the one I highly recommend for both leads and sales, because if you want a purchase or a lead, that's the end outcome you want, which is the conversion, where I have a full video showing you how to set this up where I'll link below. But when you select conversions for this event, Facebook are going to find the most likely people with a high intent of making a conversion for a purchase or even take you up on a lead offer. Then next under this, you have landing page views. Now, if you select this event, all Facebook will do is find people who will click onto your landing page. And that's all it pretty much is gonna do. So it's not looking for high intent buyers, just looking for people to view your landing page. Then you have other options which shows link clicks, daily unique reach and impressions. Now again, you do not want to optimize for any of these in a conversions campaign. Because if you've told Facebook you want that purchase, that's it. That's all you want, that one specific action from people. So ignore all of these for now. But let's take a look at another campaign objective, which is traffic. So let's say you just want to get exposure to your website, blog, or even an Amazon product. And let's say you're not ready for a conversion on a landing page, where I have a full video going through more about running traffic to your website, where I'll link below. But I'm gonna jump into the ad set, then you go down to optimization and delivery, and click the drop down menu for optimization for the ad delivery. Now, I want you always to think about one important factor before choosing anything here, which is again, what's the outcome you're trying to attain? which usually is on a traffic campaign is just to get someone to view a page that you'll be sending them to. So in this case, between these four options, I would definitely go for the main desired outcome of landing page views. You want to make sure the person you want is a person who wants to view your page rather than just click by mistake or just click and go type of person. And impressions or reach, that could again be a bunch of people who only see your initial ad and just scroll past. But landing page views, Facebook will only look for those who would go all the way to the desired outcome. Now, a common campaign that I tend to use a lot is video views. This is now in the engagement objective and I have multiple tutorials showing you if this campaign is right for you and how to set this all up where I'll put it in the description below. But if you select on your ad, engagement type, video views, and then down to the optimization and delivery, you'll see through play or two second continuous video views. Now with through play, Facebook says it will deliver your ads to help get the most completed video plays if the video is 15 seconds or shorter. For longer video plays, this will optimize for people most likely to play at least 15 seconds. And with two second continuous video views, they'll deliver to get the most views from two seconds. So if you think about this, when you scroll through your Facebook feed and someone passes a video, it's most likely just going to instantly play up to a few seconds. So that could be anyone who's really not interested and is just scrolling through their feed. And Facebook will count this as an engagement. Whereas through play, you're at least holding the attention longer. And if it's past 15 seconds, as Facebook says, 
it will start optimizing for those people who hold longer attention. So the through play is the one I would highly recommend for the best quality of engagement. Now, a quick thought I want you to take away on your optimization for your ad deliveries, which I'll repeat over and over again because I can't stress this enough, is always to focus on your outcomes and what your end goal is with your advertising. If you want conversions, focus on getting that conversion. If you want post engagement, only focus on getting that engagement because not only will you go after the end in mind, but you'll work better with Facebook's machine learning as you'll be telling it exactly what you want it to do. So when you find the best optimization for your Facebook ads, then make sure you put these ads in front of your best audiences, where I'll show you how to find your competitor's interests so you can put your ads directly in front of that audience right here. And if you're new and serious about keeping up to date with the latest Facebook advertising, please make sure to consider to subscribe. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.